Are you tired of biased reviews that claim there is only one right hosting provider for your WordPress website? And do you want to know the truth about what's right for the exact hosting type you're looking for? Here's a completely honest review of the best hosting providers in every category. Hi there, this is Ruben at Tanweb. And in this video, we'll talk about all four main types of hosting, managed, shared, dedicated, and VPS hosting, along with their pros and cons, and then I'll introduce you to the absolute best hosting providers on the market in each category. Let's get started. Also, if you're here for a fantastic offer, get started with Tenweb's Managed WordPress Hosting 14-day free trial. Link in the description. Try out the latest technological innovation with no strings attached. Your website will get so much faster and secure, and managing it will become so much easier. And don't forget to like and click the subscribe button for more offers and valuable info on WP hosting. Also, let me know in the comments below if you already have a website hosted somewhere and if so, which provider that is. Now let's dive right in. Okay, look, the best possible metaphor I can give you to describe what managed WordPress hosting is, it's like having your own separate house with a butler to take care of everything for you. It does sound like a rich man's setup, right? Well, that's because it used to cost a lot until the recent price democratization, but we'll talk about it later. Speaking in hosting language, Managed Hosting provides you with a separate, dedicated server of your own and your company takes care of all of the needs your website might have. There's also usually a tech support team available 24-7, which is a very important part of the package. The main pros of Managed WordPress Hosting are Number 1. All of the features and services you may possibly think for your website are included in the package. Security service, backups, caching, free SSL certificate, responsive support team, website templates, you can check all the boxes. Basically, Managed WordPress Hosting is a full package that lets you know in advance how much you're going to pay for having a good website, without having to worry about any additional features. A pro that stems from the previous point is that you are totally free of having to know about your website's technical management and maintenance and you're free to focus on the purpose of your website, be it business or pleasure or something in between. Managed WordPress hosting definitely means less responsibility. Your website is gonna function properly whether you know about it or not. As for cons of managed WordPress hosting, there used to be two main ones. Number one is that you get way less control. Sometimes you literally can't get access to the control panel since it's taken care of by your host. So with managed hosting, you don't handle your website. You just use it. The other important con here used to be the cost. With DreamHost, for example, a dedicated managed WordPress hosting plan starts at $149 a month, which is not that affordable, especially if you're just starting out. But thanks to state-of-the-art technology and hosting on cloud, the disadvantage of high cost is not relevant anymore for managed WordPress hosting. Here at Tenweb, we offer you a fully managed WordPress hosting powered by Google Cloud, which will cost you only $10 a month for one website hosted and can go as low as $6 a month if you host 10 and more websites. Another amazing perk of this is the fact that if you host your website on Tenweb, it will automatically get a Google PageSpeed score of 95+, plus, which means that you don't have to ever worry about people leaving your website because it loads too slow. And if your website ever gets hacked or crashes, despite of the premium security feature, you can always restore your data from one of the available 10 restore points. And if that's not enough, you can choose from one of our 40 thematic website templates and customize them using our advanced website builder based on Elementor. Overall, there is no comparable offer in the market of managed WordPress hosting. So, go visit our website, tenweb.io, and try our 14-day free trial with no credit card required. Moving on to best shared WordPress hosting. 
So firstly, what is shared hosting? Shared hosting is when you share your server, the place where your website data lives and is retrieved from. Shared hosting is what people typically choose when they're just starting out, before they get actual customers and then have to move their website somewhere else or upgrade their plan. The main advantage of shared hosting and the reason it's so popular among beginners is that it's the cheapest type of hosting out there. Plans start at just a couple of dollars a month so anyone can host a website. But sadly, that seems to be the only advantage of shared hosting. In all other regards like speed, reliability and security, shared hosting is not the best option. The biggest con of shared hosting comes from its design. Sharing an IP address and website resources with a bunch of random websites means that all of the faults and issues they might experience might affect your website performance too. So imagine your neighboring website gets hacked or crashes, that will most likely affect your website too. So my suggestion for you would be you should get a shared hosting plan only if your budget just doesn't allow you to get something better at this point. That being said, even shared hosting has its relatively good providers and Bluehost is an absolute winner in that category and here's why. Their plans start at just $7.99 a month which means that owning a website is absolutely democratized. One person, one website. The bandwidth is unmetered in all of their plans so you're not gonna get charged based on disk space usage and for as little as 8 bucks a month you'll get a scalable website. How great is that? On top of that, you will get a free SSL certificate and great support. So Bluehost is definitely a good place to start, you know, before you get actual traffic and some profit when you can move to a better place. Now let's discuss VPS, WordPress hosting and determine the winner in this hosting category. But first, let's determine what VPS hosting is in the first place. VPS is basically the in-between step of shared and dedicated hosting. Though you don't get a server of your own and you still have to share with other sites, but you also get a server space isolated enough to pretend you do. And here's the catch. With VPS you get quite a lot more freedom aka responsibility. Now let's jump to pros and cons. A big pro is that isolation really improves the site performance. It makes it less likely that a neighboring website will affect your website's performance. So a VPS hosted website is a lot more secure and reliable than those hosted with shared hosting. Another important advantage here is that you get root access and everything is essentially under your control. Hardware, software, customizations. If you're a tech savvy person, this can be pretty cool. But of course, not all of us can or even want to be in charge of our server's technical maintenance, because being in charge also involves a lot of additional effort and a possibility for mistakes. So if you don't have a team ready to take on that responsibility, it's really better to focus on other, more important aspects of your website. Also worth mentioning, VPS hosting typically costs somewhere in between $30 and $40 a month while lacking quite a lot of functionalities that managed WordPress hosting provides like performance, security, features. So why settle for less while paying more? So taking into account all of the advantages and disadvantages, the best VPS hosting provider according to our analysis is InMotion. With prices starting at about $30 a month, an unlimited number of websites, a free SSL certificate and a multi-layer defense, InMotion offers you the best of both worlds, VPS hosting and the most bang of the buck. What's really cool is that they put an extra emphasis on website speed using an advanced technology to provide you with a scalable and fast website. Okay, now that we've determined the absolute champion of VPS hosting, next comes dedicated hosting. What is it? Well, it's the elite of WordPress hosting. Dedicated hosting is when your website gets a whole separate server dedicated specifically to it. This type of hosting is especially relevant for websites that require a lot of resources or those that have very high importance. 
The pros of dedicated hosting are obvious. You get top-notch security and support right along with root access and full control over your server. Uh, the dedicated hosting type is also known for its scalability. So your website has a lot of space to grow really fast. And as it happens sometimes, the pros can also become the cons. You see, you take the full control of an entire server, so it's you who has to take care of all of the security, maintenance and performance issues. So you gotta ask yourself first, if you really wanna take on all of that responsibility at the expense of more important aspects of your website. Besides that, number one concern with dedicated hosting is that it's quite pricey. The average price starts at around $100 a month, which is not something a lot of website owners are ready to pay just for hosting. As for the winner in this hosting category, it is... Hostgator. The prices with Hostgator for dedicated hosting start at $90 a month, for which you get a fantastic 24-7 support, full root access, optimized performance, stellar security, unmetered bandwidth, and an IP address. And a bonus point. If you lack tech skills or willingness to deal with all of the maintenance stuff, you can also try the managed and semi-managed dedicated hosting. Now that you know all of the champs in every category, it won't hurt to give a try to TenWeb, the best managed WordPress hosting in 2020. Sign up for our free 14-day trial with the link in the description and see if you like it. I hope you enjoyed watching our 100% honest analysis of the best WordPress hosting providers in all four categories. If so, let us know by leaving a comment, liking and subscribing to our YouTube channel. See you next time.